I'm going to show you how to create a keyboard shortcut for any of your Figma plugins, provided you're using the Figma Mac app. So I have a Figma plugin that I created called Pop Component. I'll go ahead and install that. And the ways you can access Figma plugins are through the right click menu or the Figma menu, or the kind of power user way to do it is using command slash and then typing the name of it. That's a little bit faster, but it's not quite fast enough. The cool thing that Figma did is make it so that in the Mac app, the plugins actually show up in the menu bar. There's a feature on your Mac that allows you to add custom keyboard shortcuts for any menu item. So we can use that to create keyboard shortcuts for any of your plugins. So just note the name of the plugin, in this case, pop a component, then go to system preferences, keyboard, shortcuts, app shortcuts, and then click the plus button. So you wanna choose Figma from this menu. To find it faster, you can type FI to search through there. And then you type in the name of the component exactly as it appeared, in my case, pop a component. Then you get to choose a keyboard shortcut. You wanna make sure that this isn't going to interfere with any of your other keyboard shortcuts. But how the heck do you know? Well, my suggestion is you type control, command, and then a letter. It's a pretty safe bet and it's fairly easy to type. So in my case, I'll do control command K because command K is the create component um, shortcut. So let's add that, go back to Figma, and in the menu bar, you can see now Papa Component has a keyboard shortcut. So let me try it. And what this plugin does is it takes the selected layer, turns it into a component, and leaves behind an instance in place. I don't know why Figma doesn't work this way by default, but that's why I made this plugin. So I'll run the plugin from the right click menu, and you can see it created that component, leaving behind an instance. But now I'm going to try it again on this one, and I'll just use the keyboard shortcut. And that's just so much more natural and fast for me. When I first created this plugin, I found it useful, but it wasn't until I added that custom keyboard shortcut that it really became a game changer for me. So let's try one more. I have another plugin called Have. I'll install that one. There it is in the plugins menu. Go to System Preferences, uh, click Plus, type in the name of it. And I'll use Control Command H for the shortcut for this one. Back to Figma. You can see it now has the keyboard shortcut. So let's try it out. What this one does, this plugin, it'll cut the selected layer in half. So I really like to use the Control Command Shift 4 keyboard shortcut on my Mac, which lets you take a screenshot of any portion of your screen. So I'll just take a screenshot of these icons or whatever. And then you paste it in. So it copies the screenshot to the, the clipboard so you can just paste it in, very convenient. But it comes into Figma twice as big as I want it because of the retina display. Figma doesn't do any kind of detection of this. So um, I always am in here and then going to the width and you know, resizing it and it's kind of annoying. So I have this plugin, Control Command H and it gets resized. So I can take a screenshot of something else, paste it in, Control Shift H or Control Control Command H, sorry. And uh, it's just so much faster now. I can get these, these layers resized uh, the way I want it. So adding these keyboard shortcuts is, it's a little bit faster, but that's not really the important part of why you wanna do this. It's not about saving a couple seconds. You, know, you might think like, oh, you're that lazy. You can't just access it from the menu. It's, it's just that when you make something faster like this, it kind of changes your behavior. It changes your relationship with it. So. In the case of pop a component, it's not that, um, oh good, I don't have to go through the menu to access this plugin. It's now I'm creating components out of things that I wouldn't even have made into components before. Because I might think like, eh, it takes a few steps to make a component, I'll just move on. But now I know all I have to do is hit a keyboard shortcut and I've got my component with the instance left behind. I know that there's such a low barrier to doing that that I'll just do it more often. So it's changed my behavior, not just saved me time. So this technique works well for any Figma plugin. So I hope you find it useful for whichever uh, plugins that you use, but I think it's particularly well suited for my two plugins, Pop a Component and Have. So go and install those. I put links in the description so you can find them on Figma. I'm making videos that go in depth about each of those plugins for my channel. So you can check those out when they're published.